Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. Today I have a homeschooling video for you and I'm going to be showing you what was in my kids uh, botany science box this month. So if you're interested in that, stick around. Okay, so for science this year, my three youngest kids are doing a science box. And um, about every five weeks, I will put new items into our box. And every Tuesday, they have about 20 minutes to sit down and do any activity inside this box. And that is all that we are doing for science for my three youngest kids. And so for the first five weeks of school, we learned about botany. So I'm going to show you what was in our box, some of the activities they got to choose from. So they have really enjoyed this science box. They enjoyed learning about botany. And so I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. So before I show you what's in the box, the very first thing we did was when we started our school day, we um, did Calendar Connections. And if you guys have never heard of Calendar Connections, it's from the blog uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 1. And I will link her below because I have been using her Calendar Connection cards for years and they are amazing. So on the back of my wall right back here, you can see my have our calendar here and then i have four pocket charts um, a red and blue one over here and then a yellow and green one here and in each of these pockets is a different calendar connection card that is all about the study of botany and so what how we would start our day is we would just read the next card so this is card number 15 and has a picture and then I would read this to them. So on this day, we learned about self-pollination. And if you go to her site, she has so many different topics. Um, they're not all science related. Some of them are, you know, geography related, holiday related. They are just awesome. And these really, really enriched um, the, the study of botany this last month. So I would really recommend checking that out. And so my science box is just an Ikea um, tub that I slide into one of our organizers. And so I will first start with the books that they did. And these are all books that the kids could read on their own. From Seed to Pumpkin, Grow Flowers Grow, This is the Sunflower, Why Do Leaves Change Colors, Do Plants Eat Meat, How Do Apples Grow, Round the Garden, We Plant a Seed, and we're going on a nature hunt. So I used to teach preschool, so I basically just pulled out all my preschool books and pulled out everything that was botany related. You could also go to the library and just um, check out a bunch of books uh, botany related. This one ended up being the kid's favorite. This is more um, just like a nonfiction book and it just had all kinds of different topics and then things that the kids could read. So my kids love books, and so this was probably the thing that they chose the most to do was just read a book, and I would just tell them that they had to choose a book that they had not read um, every Tuesday. So those were the books that were in our box. And then this, these are posters. And I got these off of TPT and I will link these below. And they are just really, really simple language and just talk about different parts of plants like roots and leaves and stems and just all kinds. Um, they're just really cute um, design and the kids really like to read through these. I just cut these, printed them off, cut them up and laminated them. And then, so those were those there and then these also are from TPT, just more little um, like handouts, and it just kind of gives some definitions. So a definition of a seed coat, photosynthesis, chlorophyll, pollination, all kinds of different uh, botany related words. So that was another thing that they could do is just kind of read through these posters. And then I had a sensory activity in here, and this was just black beans and some fake flowers. And this was really my youngest, my two youngest girls really enjoyed doing this. So I had little scoopers and they could scoop it and plant flowers and plant these. And um, so this was an activity that I let them do for, they were allowed to do it for about five minutes and then they had to choose something else to do. This was an activity I had left over from when I taught preschool. And so I threw this in here as well. And it is just four seed packets. 
Um, you know, we have a cucumber, a carrot, lettuce, and then sweet corn. And then in each of these individual containers is the seed. And then they would just match up the seeds with the correct seed packet. And then another activity I had in here was just a bean, just a model. And then they could just put them, put this in order of the way that the bean grows. So just like that. This is some flashcards of all different kinds of flowers and then it identifies the flower on the bottom. And so they would just like to just flip through these and read the different flowers. Another thing that my youngest daughter really liked was this growth of a bulb. So you would just take this out and line them up from all the way from the seed to the last one, which would be the, the flower. And then our last thing is just um, just a matching set. So you would mat they would match up the picture peas to the word peas. And this was um, something that they they did a couple times, but this one wasn't a favorite. But um, but that's what we did for botany. I feel like um, it just gave them kind of an overview of the study of botany. The calendar connection cards were probably my favorite. Um, those were going to be a little more at their level um, telling them about the study of botany. And then I felt like the activities in my science box just kind of really helped um, bring home some of those uh, just basic ideas of the study of botany. And that is my goal for them this year is just to take different um, studies of science and just kind of um, have a little fun with them, do some fun activities with them, and that is basically all that I want to do with science this year. And so we had a lot of fun with this one. So now I'm going to put this away and I'm going to set up our astronomy box and that is what we will be doing for the next five weeks. And I will hopefully try to find all of this stuff and link everything below. But it's been a couple years since I have um, printed this stuff off because I did used to teach preschool. And so a lot of this stuff was when I taught preschool um, and for my science center. So I will hopefully try to find everything. If not, I'll try to find something very similar. And that's it. So if you guys like these science um, discovery boxes, give me a thumbs up and I will continue um, putting these out there every couple weeks um, this whole school year and just kind of show you what we're doing for science. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!